Hey, this video is going to show you how to refund a payment through your rent payment merchant account. So this, this only applies if you have a rent payment merchant account connected to your software. Um, we can't do refunds through the software, you have to do it through rent payment. So this is just a little support to kind of help you. So what you'll do is you'll go to rentpayment.com, this is what their website looks like. And then down here where it says property managers, you're going to sign in. And, and your your ID should be mailed to you, emailed to you when you first set up the account. If you don't have that username and password, you'll need to contact Rent Payment and uh, get that from them. Their support email is vrp accountmanagement at rentpayment.com. So if you email them there, they'll 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 give it to you. So what you want to do is go to your customers tab and then type in the name of the customer that you're going to do a refund for. So I'm going to type in Nathan Hendricks in here. I just made a one dollar payment. Um, once you find the customer you'll click on their name, their blue name, which will take you to their account page and down towards, I'm sorry, so you'll search for the customers. I'm going to search for Nathan Hendrickson. Hmm. Why is it coming up? So you get, I'm going to search for Nathan Hendrickson. I just made a one dollar payment. Um, you might have multiple accounts. I, I know that I made it on the i15 storage that, that Ken and Jimmy own here. So I click on the name, which will take me to my to the customer's account page, and then down here at the bottom shows all of the account history. Sorry, account history. Um, and, and what's taken place. Um, I just barely made this payment so it shows processing. If I click on this view button right here that will take me to the account details for just this this account, this, this dollar payment that I made and I'll click on view right here and that will take me to this this box right here that will say um, cancel payment. So since I caught it so early I can cancel it I'll just say um, accidentally, uh, whatever the reason is, and cancel payment, and that will cancel it in here. Um, this, so there it is in red, canceled. If you click view, I was going to show you, you can kind of see some more details. So you could see dat data sent to bait, or date sent to bait, date settled. Um, if it's not settled, you can usually cancel it. Um, or if it is settled, like if it went all the way through after like three days and it's settled and everything, um, instead of canceling it down here at the bottom, it will say uh, refund. So the difference is the cancellation will cancel it before it hits their, their credit card. The refund, it means it already took it off their card, and then you're just having to refund that amount back onto their card. So that's how you do a, a refund. Um, just to note, back in the software, that doesn't update anything over on on the uh, customer's account page in the software. So you'll have to still do that over here, and you can do that pretty easy just by clicking on the date and then zero zeroing it out, and then you could put like refund, uh, refunded back on card or something. Just write a note so you know what's going on but um, you'll have to update it in the software as well. So let me know if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.